All right, legends, in this video, we're going to put this GTR engine back together and get it ready to put into the R32 GTR. Alrighty, so what do we have here? We have my personal R32 GTR engine, freshly rebuilt, ready to rock and roll. So super happy about this. Did take about a year and a half in the making to get it finally built and into back into my shop now that I've got. Um, but being COVID, so be it, you know? So what do we have here? We have an RB30 block. Um, if anyone knows anything about RBs, um, the block does start to get a better quality block when you move up into the R3, uh, RB30s, hence the reason I went with this. Um, just a bit more denser, a bit more harder and all that type of stuff. Anyway, RB30 block, beautiful. Um, inside here we've had all the machining done we've got a prp adapter plate and uh, engine brace now the reason you might run a prp adapter and engine brace first of all if you run an rb30 you have to um can be a different brand but prp platinum race products is deluxe anyway uh the key component i like about this is we're bracing the bottom of the uh the block here so as you can see here this is the front lsd which is connected to the sum which is connected to the bottom of the block you start um, rolling some of those you know um, aftermarket lsds in the front and it starts to really grip up and everything it can and it does quite often happen uh, twist the block and crack the block. So you put the brace in. Um, if you look at a PRP, I might put it and put that in some of the uh, uh, content there. If you look at the brace, uh, you'll see that it's super strong and rigid. Anyway, RB30. Uh, we've got the PRP brace, and then inside here we've got uh, spool I beam rods, uh, and then we've got nitto pistons up on the top. Everything's super balanced and everything, so it's really nice. Um, the sump has had a like a 9 10 liter extended sump put on here really nice piece of work there uh, It's got all the baffles and everything in the middle uh, Cylinder head uh, didn't go too crazy on the cylinder head and I didn't do a stroke of 3.2 liter um, This has just got the prepped stock crankshaft. So I'm only going to rev it to about 8,000 rpm um, It's got the nitto head gasket obviously uh, head wise it has Stock valves on this side, which is the inlet side, um, and all of the valve seats and everything were all really nice. It's just had an angle job. On the exhaust side, it's got um, uh, high temp exhaust valves, aftermarket ones, and then it's got um, new valve guides and everything, new brass or bronze ones, whatever they are. They're just a super deluxe version. Um, it's all been ported as well, not CNC ported, but it has like had a pocket port. It's more extensive on the exhaust side than it is on the intake side. Um, it's got the new, well not new, but it's got the Nitto billet uh, oil pump with the sign drive machined into the uh, crank there. And then it's got the ATI balancer and all the gear, HKS, it's got Camtech cams, I think they're like a 280 or a 290 sort of degree you know, dual valve springs, all that sort of carry on. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm only gonna run about, I don't know, maybe 950 max wheel horsepower through this thing. Um, if you wanted to go above a thousand reliably, you'd probably wanna do the 3.2 liter stroking kit, whether it's Spool or Nitto or someone like that. Um, but there she is. So let's get stuck in and uh, have a look at some of these parts that we've got.
Okay, next I'm gonna do the uh, oil adapter for the oil filter system. So here from memory from stock, it is like an oil cooler type sort of scenario with an oil filter. Scrapped all of that and now we're using the beautiful Tarx from EFI Solutions in Burley. Uh, their adapter kit where you can have sensors and all sorts of stuff. So a beautiful bit of kit here as you can see. All nice and uh, billet aluminium. Got all the sensor ports, ins, outs, all sorts of things going on there. So a uh, really handy piece of kit. And then you can use that to extend an oil filter relocator and then put oil coolers on and all that type of stuff. I really like uh, the Tarx products. Um, this is obviously one piece billet aluminium, really well thought out. It's got all the gaskets and seals in there. Uh, we've got oil temperature, um, oil pressure, a couple more ports for the pressure and stuff like that. And then we've got uh, ins and outs. It's all labeled, detailed instructions online if you wanted it, but um, let's just get into it. So just a little bit of lubrication on here just to make it uh, happy. Nothing too drastic. Okay, next up is a product from Boostock. Where have I got them here? These guys right here, boom. And what they supply is a whole bunch of RB gear. So they're in Australia, actually it's really nice stuff. So I'll do a quick little snippet of it. But what it is, is it's a um, heater delete kit. So the heaters will normally cruise this way, the heater pipe work and go in through the firewall. I'm not running that on this. So I've done a delete kit and it goes from this water port all the way back through into this thermostat housing. Um, so check out this nice piece of equipment. Bam, and there it is there. So it's a nice piece of, this is probably aluminium that has had, it's been flared on the end there, you can see. So it's got a nice flare bit. Um, this connects into the block. You'll see in a second when I plumb it all in. And then this connection here goes into the thermostat housing. So it's really nice, well thought out. It's got ports here for, um, uh, other water lines and stuff like that. So I really like this gear. It's not too expensive either. So go check them out, Boost Dock.
Okay, so the uh, next modification we're gonna make to this beautiful RB30 block. Um, this is actually means a lot to me, this type of uh, upgrade. Um, some people do and don't know about it. Uh, these are the knock sensors. We're gonna upgrade the knock sensors on the car. If you don't know what a knock sensor is, um, someone like myself or other tuners, uh, when we, uh, you know, we increase the horsepower out of the engine, we're on the dyno, um, we're using the ECU, if you're on road tuning, whatever. Uh, very often, all the time actually, we're monitoring knock detection. Now, uh, knock, deten knock deten detection, <laughs> knock detection is uh, li literally just a microphone, well, two microphones that listen into the block. Um, they're mounted like towards the piston area of the block so up nice and high um, and they listen in and they um, look for a certain frequency of where a tune isn't going so well we're getting detonation whatever it is pre-ignition um, it can listen in and then we can put safety strategies in place all manufacturers have them oem and stuff like that and it will retard ignition timing and save your engine from pretty much melting its pistons so uh, these are the guys here so with the rbs they don't come, I think the GDRs do, but uh, all the other RBs I'm pretty sure do not come with um, Bosch Motorsport donut style sensors, which is the pretty much the go-to. So what we're doing here is factory has two bosses, well, three bosses for knock sensors. Um, you take the old ones out. Um, Tarx, who supplied the oil relocator for this, Tarx, the brilliant company that they are, EFI Solutions, um, they make a kit that uh, makes it nice and simple. It comes with an electrical plug. Um, you have to buy the sensor separately, but the kit allows you to use an adapter. See if it'll focus. Adapter that goes into the block. The sensor goes on top of that, and then the uh, bolt goes in. Um, and I'll install that now so you can see what it looks like, but it is a must. You modify an engine, I've done it on my 2J uh, S15 Sylvia straight away. Upgrade the knock sensors, man. We want the best knock sensors possible. We want to be listening in and protect these engines because we're running close like this will run just over a thousand engine horsepower. I want it to just be super safe if it's possible. This helps to make it possible. Okay, next modification. Uh, so many modifications to this thing. Um, upgrade, let's call it an upgrade. So on the back here we have the dual PRP uh, plant and race products, love their gear. Um, we've got the oil return from the back of the head and a water return from the back of the head. Um, so that's all been installed by the engine builder, which is nice. Um, and what we do is we run a, uh, for the oil, I'm gonna run an oil line that goes all the way back here. It goes to my extended sump, uh, which is fabulous. Bloody fabulous. So underneath the intake manifold, boom. Then what happens too is with my intake manifold, um, there's a lot of lines underneath for all of the water cooling going to the radiator. I'm gonna run another one of these um, and line up with and do like a join into the um, lines that are coming underneath the uh, billet hypertune intake manifold going to the hypertune radiator. So I'm um, gonna have two lines coming back here, which should help oil flow and water flow. Water flow is good for temperature, keeps the water flowing through really nice and fast. And then obviously renowned RB oil pulling up in the back of the head because it just wasn't designed that well. Two J's, we ain't got that problem.
Jesus Christ. That ain't easy, man. So this is the 400 series hose push lock, which I do like. Man, it's hard to get on. Okay, lucky last modification for this video. Still plenty more to come in a different video. Uh, what do we have here? A twin plate direct clutch services billet clutch kit. A uh, very nice piece of kit. If you don't know who they are, direct clutch services. They're in Australia. Um, they make really nice gear. Uh, just look at the state of this thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll do a bit of a breakdown anyway when I um, pull it all apart and install it. Uh, ARP uh, flywheel bolts, just a must have, pretty simple really. And what I also have done is upgraded and installed the spigot, pilot bearing, bush, whatever you want to sort of call it. I've upgraded to the um, uh, needle, needle bearing style. So uh, that came out really nicely, all ready to rock and roll. Let's get stuck in. Mm -hmm. 